There's other stuff in here. It's not just this. This one has a hamburger on it and it kind of smells a little like a hamburger. I think. Oh. Oh. Why do you take such a bite? I have to nibble. Because I'm fat. <laughs> well, now you're just kind of scoffing at the people that want to help you. You gotta be so good that they can't ignore you. Especially the ones that ain't done shit for you. Yeah, you know exactly what I mean. They stab you in the back and then they ask why you're bleeding. I don't trust words. I trust actions. I don't care what you heard. I'm not slacking. My name is Alan Roberts. This is Everyday Day Fitness. Like, subscribe to the notification bell right over here and share my video. Subscribe to my second channel, Alan Roberts, and my opinion course. Click the button below the end and all those places. Thank you very much. Before I get to anything, we're still running a, a six months coaching special over at Dam Collective. That's our businesses, Everyday Day Fitness and Dam Ready Athletics. Uh, where myself, my wife, and our coaches are in daily contact holding a person accountable who needs to lose 50 or more pounds. Uh, we're running a special, so you want to take advantage of that. We give the person suggested macros, suggested uh, exercises. We try to build the exercises and the macros and the food around and the calories around what they already like. Uh, we try to help them address their issues with food. We try to make sure that we help build healthy lifestyle choices for them to actually lose weight and keep it off. And we do that by talking to them every day about their choices and trying to coach them along and teach them what they need to know. We try to teach them the information. We don't just give them stuff and have them do things. We try to teach them. So if you want to lose weight and keep it off for good, you need to build a healthy lifestyle. Get a hold of us up, down, and below. Slots are filling very, very quickly. We added another coach, so we have a few more slots. So take advantage of that. Um, Amberlynn Reed. <laughs> I've made multiple videos about Amberlynn Reed. Pretty much I've made to the family and friends of Amberlynn Reed. Uh, uh, things that she's doing wrong that are helping, you know, I use that as an avenue to give some healthy, uh, healthy lifestyle choices for, for obese people. Um, we work with obese people all the time. Um, it, that's what my wife and I do. And I can say this, Amberlynn Reed is addicted to both food, uh, plus with a binge eating disorder. I believe she's a completely full-blown food addict with a binge eating disorder, but she is also addicted to attention, whether it be positive or negative. I truly believe that now she's addicted to it. Um, she released a video today. Uh, Americans try Japanese snacks. Hey guys. So this is Americans try Japanese candy slash snacks. I'm a little nervous. Me the too, box. Because <laughs> I'm picky. Yeah. Part one. So there's going to be more parts. That scoffs in the face of people that are hoping that you lose weight. It really does. I mean, the, to just sit there and kind of laugh about what snacks taste like. Okay, I was expecting. Oh, this is savory. <laughs> oh. Okay. We're dating, if you don't know. <laughs> so, if you don't know. <laughs> oh my god. That tastes like a chip. That flies in the face of people trying to help you. You know, I mean, she makes a lot of videos talking about the hate she gets and everything like that, and I did not really get it. I mean, I, I, I'm, I always try to admit when I was wrong, and to everybody that ever commented, she is just doing this for views, she's beyond help and everything like that. I, my apologies, because very honestly, she really does not care. I mean, she just wants to do it for attention. I don't believe she realizes how close to actually the end it, it is, and I feel bad for her. But I will say this, at some point in time, I like to view things as they're either part of the solution, like they, they just need help and they can get themselves there, or they're part of the problem. Wait, we have to go to order. I know. This I know. one's purple, so I don't know if this is going to be the same. No, twin. It's different. Mm. That looks like it's a cheetah. Different. Oh my God, please don't be hot. This looks barbecue to me. If it's totally hot, I'm not eating it. What is that? Oh my God, are these low calorie? I almost are eating these every day. And this young lady smashing food into her face uh, and monetizing it heavily um, and getting paid for it uh, is part of the problem, uh, you know, for people that, you know, she does have people that look, that watch her and that, uh, watch her just to see the self-harming behavior, because that's what it is. It is self-harming behavior. Um, I'm shocked it's monetized. 
just to be real. Uh, the, 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 the use of the word fuck will get demonetized, but this woman feeding her addiction, her doing what is the equivalent to an alcoholic drinking a fifth of alcohol on camera is fully monetized. Okay, so this feels like there's a sucker and some type of like powder. Here we go. I saw the powder. Like, it literally looks like. There. <laughs> so there's that with powder. Do you want to go first or do you want me to go first? It doesn't matter. Okay. People are going to be like, oh, or I can do one side so people don't get creeped out. Cream soda. No. -uh. Dead ass. I like that. You do? I'm living. I'm, I'm, I don't know. I don't get it. I don't need to. No, it's not my decision, but I can say this. She's part of the fucking problem. Um, I, I, I'm done with it. <laughs> just, just, just to be real, I, I'm kind of done with it. But to anybody that watches Amberlynn Reed, I got to tell you this. Um, I know she does get a lot of hate. She's made multiple videos about the hate she gets. The best thing you can do, the absolute best thing you can do, not watch. Because uh, she does not care if it's positive or negative. You're not gonna, some people you cannot shame into into change. You can you cannot negatively uh, catalyze themselves into change. Oftentimes, like she she seems to have accepted where she's at. She seems to be good with it. Deep down, I'm sure she realizes that she should just. Uh, I, I I personally believe she feels that it's too far gone. Uh, that, that that that's the issue. I mean, I know she's talking about weight loss surgery right now. They're gonna make her lose like 50 or 60 pounds before they before they operate. I mean, they, it, she won't be able to do that if she. I mean, I believe she feels she is too far gone, um, and she's just gonna ride it while she can. And that's not much longer. That's that's just not much longer. And that's sad. It really really is. But I can tell you this: the thing that's getting me upset now is that she is making a mockery of it. Y'all, there is so much stuff still. I don't. I don't know about. I don't know about all this. This is just a lot. Ooh, here's something fluffy. It has a little kitty on it. And there are people that watch her that while it may not be many anymore that watch her, there are people that have trouble with their weight that are probably influenced by her that also have similar issues mentally that she has and will emulate her in order to have the I don't give a shit lifestyle. She is encouraging other people who started at 360 or 370 pounds as she did many years ago. They think that they, they're in their mind, they might equate it to they could just start eating more, eating more, gaining weight on YouTube or on whatever platform they choose and get paid to do it and make a living from eating. And for a food addict, especially one with you know an attention addiction also, that can be very appealing, and that is the opposite direction of where people should go. So, Amberlynn, you are pretty much, now I see, part of the fucking problem. And when you reached, when you reached out to me the, the one time, I thought maybe, we, you know, I, I thought maybe that you could be reasoned with, but I should have known when, the, when I said you need inpatient therapy and you didn't even respond back to that, you just read it and didn't respond, I should have known. I, I just should have known because I don't really think you want to lose weight because you could check yourself into an inpatient therapy right now. There's plenty around the country. You could check yourself in and lose weight and lose enough weight where they could probably then get you bariatric surgery and probably add some years here and hopefully turn it around. But if you don't, you know the end's near. I, I, there's nothing, nothing that can tell me that this woman doesn't know that the end is near. I, she doesn't share her medical history, but I can tell you this, her doctor is probably just like, it's happening soon. I mean, and it's sad to say, but it really, really is. Amberlynn, uh, I won't be watching anymore. And, 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 and fans of Amberlynn to keep sending me uh, videos, keep sending me, saying what she did, I don't care. Uh, I really don't, like, she's part of the problem. She, she really, really is. The best thing that can happen for America to get healthy and the world to get healthy and, you know, and people to, us to start reversing the obesity epidemic is to stop watching stuff like that. that that's, that's the very first thing that can happen. So is to stop watching things like that. You know, it really is like, she has, I've reached out to her. I'm sure other people have. Uh, Obese the Beast has reached out to her and she, it's just a, a mockery at this stage. So. Uh, Amberlynn Reed, I, got, I can also say, fuck you, and uh, I do hope, I still do hope that you find a way to survive uh, what you're doing to yourself. I don't believe you don't, I don't, I don't believe you think it's actually a really pressing issue, but I can honestly say that in my professional opinion, it's not much longer, and very frankly, you are hurting others 
while hurting yourself at this stage. So you're part of the problem, and that's just my two cents of matter. My name is Alan Roberts. Hit me up on Instagram at Everyday Day Fitness. Hit me up on Twitter at Everyday Day Fitness. I'm also on Facebook at Everyday Day Fitness. On the internet at EverydayDayFitness.net. Goddamn.